Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD, and it's time to get back into our little tutorial series. And the first thing I'm going to do, according to my notes that I made last episode, is tell my phone to shut up. Uh, after that is my notes say I need more labs. So I'm going to trust that old me knows what he was talking about. And we're going to paste down some more labs. Uh, and of course, I happen to pick the ones without power poles. Two, four, no. Uh, two, four, eight. That's 16. That's 20. And then inventory. Where's labs? Where are labs? There. 20. Done. Yeah, go nuts with the power poles. Waste them. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> and we're going to auto trash labs. So as, then, as long as we're in the network, they will get placed somewhere, somehow. Um, I have upgraded the main bus for iron. It is now blue belt all the way to the end. So we've now got copper and... Um, Copper and iron are both on blue belt. Next thing we need to do is we need to start really speeding this base up. So first thing I'm going to do, because it doesn't break our ratios, is take everything I can up to assembler threads. It will break our belt ratios. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Anytime we are belting in a full belt worth of material, um, this will break it. Because now the belt doesn't carry as much. Uh, that's done. So this is a prime example. These guys probably can no longer get the amount of iron ore they need to run at a perfect one-to-one -one ratio. So we're going to upgrade all of that. Uh, and all that. That's the other belt in. Uh, nope. That's the other belt in. Done. Uh, okay, so that feeds into engines, which feeds across red circuits into blue science. Uh, we need... There are our labs, which we're now crafting and dumping. And as you can see, as soon as the bots can get hold of me, boom, they go dump them. Uh, that's Skynet, which doesn't really need an upgrade just yet. Uh, Purple Science will also need an upgrade. So, upgrade those. Upgrade those. And you are definitely going to need a bit more iron coming in. That's your three feed-in lines. Make sure all that's down blue. Anything else we happen to make blue along the way, it's not going to hurt. Um, okay, so that's purple. Nope, that's not purple done. We also have the engine machines. Which, same story, we will use our upgrade planner. Um, and we're just going to upgrade, nope, those ones, and the green belt, uh, the belt in for the circuits. I don't think we need to actually upgrade these, these are probably be fine as is, but never hurts. Um, blue circuits will leave for the moment. We will also do modules. Modules have a very long crafting time. Uh, we need to do yellow science. Which now, I want to confirm, because I'm sure I got the ratio right. But then, somewhere in the back of my head, I said, it, I said I got it wrong. So we don't have quite enough circuit machines to run the yellow machines. That's how it was intended. Good. Um, where'd those machines go? 
we've got to do speed modules and our red circuit build is still dead. Red circuits, which is full, no it's short on copper. Why are we short on copper? Because basically bringing in a full blue belt is not enough. Especially now we've gone to assembly threes. So our option is really um, bringing another blue belt of copper. All right, let's finish upgrading these guys. Uh, okay. So it's high tech done, which is fully backed up, which is great. All right, now let's see about another belt of copper for red circuits. Out that way. No, let's go out another square. Uh, let's bring you in there. Uh, we'll bring you. Stop moving me, belts! Really? There's a pipe in the way. That's two f full belts in. How far does that get us? Probably still not far enough. No, because th we're not. We don't have quite uh, four red belts of copper. Uh, four blue belts of copper on the bus. It's getting us a little bit further along. Not a lot but a little bit better. Ideally, you want to see it back up. If it backs up, that means you're providing too much. Which is... Yeah... 50-50. got to get that perfect balance between I'm providing too much and I'm not quite providing enough. Um... Although I hate doing them. No, wrong button. Uh, it might be time for a lane. A lane balancer like that. Because that will ensure that both sides are full. And that's basically what we want. We don't want the top end coming into this splitter to ever back up. We want we want this belt to be as full as possible. So it means if this top side backs up, it'll feed on this side. Um, top side of this one, again, will feed... Uh, no, I boo-booed. Is that better? Uh, Watch this for a second and make sure it works. I'm narrowing out. I'm still narrowing out to one blue belt. Uh, maybe that's a better answer. Take that under. Remove all this spaghetti. Take that straight through. Underground, well, underground straight through. Take this and feed you into there. How's that? That looks like it'll do the trick. If we put a silly balancing thing, lane balancer here instead. Nope, I need one of them. Yep, yeah, there we go. 
Right at the moment, we're just all about maximizing throughput. I'm now over overcomplicating things, and I know it. All right. Um, uh, back to putting down these guys. Where is our make everything up there? Why do I not have? Oh, actually, that's something we should upgrade. If we haven't already. We have. Why do I have not more more of these guys? Speed modules. My build is just not going fast enough. So there is a simple answer to that. It's called four of them. Done. Because this big and make everything, it's not ratioed perfectly. It runs slowly and that's generally fine. Except for those points where you suddenly want to pull out a lot of stuff and get stuff upgraded in a hurry. Which is pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, okay, military we're not going to upgrade. Labs have been extended. Um, purple science has been sped up. Yellow science has been sped up. Uh, you guys are already running assembler threes that's our solar power plant which we might actually find our blueprint book that one uh, dump down another one there and another one there with a radar in that square Need to handcraft me some more radars Alright. Back to assembler threes. Uh, speed modules. Sure. This whole build needs to go to speed module, uh, go, go to assembler 3, but I really want to be able to do it all in one hit. Uh, Skynet can say, stay assembler 2, stop running up the bus JD. Military can stay assembler 2, yeah look at how we're pulling off the belt now. Is that an iron issue? Not really. It's an iron issue as in these are built for red belt. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the upgrade planner at long distance. Hasn't really improved things too much. Um, look, we'll even do the outgoing lanes. Uh, that one... Yeah, they have no iron in there, in the smelters, unlike these, these have got a heap of brick, because the brick's not moving. We're producing iron basically as fast as we can. And it's just not fast enough. Copper's much the same. Um, putting blue belts on the in input might help, just a little bit, just get the last furnaces running a, a little bit more. Um... But it, it, it's really not going to help overall. Alright, that's that research done. We'll turn off research for a bit. Uh, so, basically everything... Oh, green circuits aren't at assembler 3. Which is just going to make our whole resource problem worse. Uh, 
So you chart what green so it's left and there's none left. Um Alright, it's time It's time to start milking this base for everything it's worth. Alright, and we're gonna do that in a couple of different ways. First thing we're gonna do is we go up, up, make everything's up. There we go. Um now we're on a full Logibot system. I'm going to um, we didn't get centrifuges automated, not as part of the make everything at least. Um, so we're going to automate centrifuges. Um, we're going to automate, uh, just haven't done the research. No, I've definitely done the research. Where's nuclear? Um, there it is. Nuclear reactor. Uh, you can be a nuclear reactor, you can be a heat exchanger, you can be a heat pipe, and you can be a steam turbine. Which, of course, are all copper heavy. Uh, output, output, output. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do our output first. Uh, copy and paste that one so we've got something to start with. And we want centrifuge. Is great. Is 20. 20 is probably enough. Uh, copy and paste that one to there. We're gonna say nuclear reactor is 2. And the reason I went with 2 is 1, they're really expensive. They take a lot of resources to build. On top of that, w even with all their expense, um, if you output two, you're going to want... A, a, there's another two built in the machine, sitting in the machine's um, export. Uh, what are you missing? Uh, steel's coming. So you would just need copper. And then we're going to use some of these fandangled stock stack inserters to move stuff faster. Uh, copy, paste. We're going to change that to 100 for heat pipe. And heat exchanger, probably back down to 20 again. 20 seems like heaps. Copy and paste. So the only difference is, well, let's copy and paste that one because you need pipe. See, that's a lot in the requests. And it's because they're requested enough to build 10 of them. And I don't really want 10 built. Uh, so let's copy and paste that, which has a lower request. And then we'll just add pipe into the mix. Um, now I know I've got pipe back here somewhere and I really should just extend that belt along and pull the pipe off there, but frankly, um, it's a bit late for that. We're, we're now at the, the awesome requester bot stage. Um, so I'm just going to use bots and be lazy. Um, same story with this one. Ten times requesting, is, it's just a little bit steep. Um, to have that many resources sitting in a box doing nothing. And we want steam turbines... And actually, these guys stack in 10, so let's just do 10. Alright, so that'll get all those ticking along. Um, slowly, very, very slowly. Because, of course, these need all the resources we don't have. Uh, we want nuclear fuel processing. No, let's do one there. And one there. We want nuclear fuel reprocessing for when it's all burnt out. Uh, I know 
know the, the recipe. I know the the recipe's here somewhere. That's fuel cells. That's all SpaceX stuff. Production. Nope. That one. Yeah, it's definitely in there. I know, I know. Somebody's staring at it and yelling at their screen. JD, it's in this tab. And I feel the exact same way when I'm watching somebody else and they're going through the exact struggle I'm going through right now. Nuclear fuel reprocessing. Oh, that's right. It's built in a centrifuge. I remember. Please, network. Can I have a centrifuge? Alright, so we're going to go there. And we're going to go there. You can request in what you need, which is not a lot of material. Um, to be perfectly honest, nuclear fuels are really easy to make. Uh, we're going to copy paste that. And we're going to say nuclear fuel... Like... 30. 30 should be heaps. Because um, we do have a Kavorax. Well, let's not run off to the Kavorax because it's above us to start with. Um, we have a decent amount of Kavorax process going on. It's not quite running at full pace. So you know what? We're actually going to turn that requester off entirely for the moment. Uh, we'll put it for you. Uh, you want to do... Nuclear fuel reprocessing. Uh, on you, I wish to dump into an active provider. We've been over this. Active providers, whatever ends up in their um, in their box, will instantly get moved off to storage. So we're waiting on advanced circuits for you. Um, actually, research. We have a lot of rocket research. How much do we actually have in storage? 5k. So you know what? Let's do one of them. It's a thousand research. Shouldn't take us too long to take over. Uh, so we have nuclear fuel processing. It's pretty much all we needed for nukes. And of course, like I said, all this can be bot based. We, we don't have to actually worry about trying to make sure it's fed we'll just let the bots deal with with this part um i don't need that anymore you can go into storage uh, our solar plant is still getting done <coughs> um because power is something we, we definitely don't want to run out of ever and we're gonna have to start really scaling things up very very quickly because i wanted to keep the game completely bus based but with looking at some of these researchers, um, oh, maybe. That's, that's the expensive one. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Um, although we're going to then produce these items. <coughs> like... That's really expensive. Alright, look, we'll keep it on a bus for the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll see whether we can stay on a bus. Um, yeah, that, that one's really expensive. And that technically means we need to launch 125 rockets. And I know you guys don't want to wait around here. 10 minutes to launch each rocket, 125 rockets. Uh... Oh, my calculator's broken. 60? No. Which is a 1, according to my calculator. Uh, Twenty hours? Yeah, twenty hours. That, that's a little while to wait. Uh, that's a lot of episodes of me sitting around doing nothing. Um, okay, so we need the Kavorax to speed up. So, let's do the logical thing. Requesting some speed modules. I'd love love to productivity module these guys, but you can't. Um, 
We got acid down here, don't we? We might also start harvesting this uranium. And even though it's going to be messy to get it up here on belt, we can. It's not impossible. We're in the network. I got 20 already. Oh, there you go. I wasn't even paying attention. Still a network? And now. Uh, definitely a network. Okay, speed modules. Done. Uh, now, because our bots are blindly fast, still. Do it that way. And then... No, you're already requesting the good stuff in. So, we will put down a chest... Right here. Which I will cap completely for the moment. Until we've actually got some uranium sitting on the belt. Because that's the point I'm like... Yep, we're, we're fully unlimited now. We, we can do whatever we want with... Um, our uranium power and be good to go. Alright, mining. Um, the joys of robots. Because this will probably be the last set of mining we do inside the base. Everything from now on is probably going to have to be trained in Oh, no, this is still some odds and ends we can we can harvest up. Uh, trash those so they're dealt with. Uh, I should drag a belt with me, shouldn't I? So your output's going to be here somewhere. Hmm. I keep having to run through builds. Planning might not have been perfect on this one. Uh, no, I think it's actually easier to go through the green circuit build than it is to go around it. If you can. If you can. Uh, nope. Uh, yay for spaghetti. Bring this up higher. that there, aim that there, bring you up one more square, whoops, okay, so that belt will go into the process, all I need is acid, all the way down here hooked up to these miners, I want a bit of belt it seems. Because, of course, I built right on the edge of uh, the system, as you do. Uh, okay, so, built that lot. Let's, thanks, research. Yeah, let's do another one. Now, robot speed doubles with each new research. So this is going to get really expensive really fast. Uh, put that one in. Uh, we want acid. Of course, there's a belt right in the middle of it. Uh... Down a pipe. One there. Two there. Alright. Power poles. Uh, another row 
our power poles. Alright, so we've got an asset coming out the last machine. So now we just need to uh, do more space X research. Go away. Go away. Satellite network established now. Build the space dry dock facility. Okay. Um, so I'm going to build this next. Um, but first off, let's get this done so we don't forget. Uh, of course there's a splitter in the way. Uh, oh, I want more right. Ah, pipe, 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 pipe. Alright, they all kick in. We're good. We're producing plenty of uh, uranium now. Because I want to get nuclear up and running. Because that just seems like it's going to solve a lot of our overall power problems. It's not nearly as UPS efficient. Um, as solar. Solar is brilliant for, for UPS reasons. But, you know, w w w we're going to work with what we've got. And it looks like our solar network might need some more bots. <laughs> and this lake gone. Um, how full is that belt? Very full. Okay, we're going to use one of these. Upgrade that. Uh, add those two to a machine. Come on, where's the very full of the part of this belt? Coming now. Because I want to ensure these guys are running flat out. Um, this side's already backed up. lot of shitty rain. Uh, it's now officially backed up. All the way. Actually, no. Look, I'm not going to waste the speed modules on that. Alright, so to do a dry dock, we need a dry dock structural component. This mod's playing with things like these shouldn't be here, I'm sure. Alright. Dry duck dock assembly component. So we need two of those are built. And then we need dry duck structural component being that one. But I don't have So I've got to research both these first. Alright, let's get this researched. We've done the assembly robots. We need... Okay, so we need assembly robots. Which aren't too expensive. Except we need 100 of them. That gets a little bit more expensive. Okay. Um, go away, trees. So I'm going to build these right here. Um, I want one single slow inserter, which I'm not auto trashing. Good. So I want you there. And the idea is this guy's slow as a wet weekend. So if we're ready to launch a satellite and we can launch a satellite, we're going to launch a satellite. Um, because we know we're going to need that space science sooner or later. Uh, if we... Uh, fully stocked up. Go away, belts. I'm sick of looking at you. Um, if we're fully stocked up, and we need to launch one of these components, it'll come out of this requester chest. Now, let's pop that there. Let's bring in some productivity modules. Because productivity modules are going to be a big payout on these. So we need to make assembly robots. Which I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be able to use productivity modules on. We need an output. We need an input. 
I mean, there's productivity modules, bots. Come on, go faster. Mm. Put that there. I want to cap you to construction space. Construction robot is hundred. And I have 14 of them. Nope. Alright, nothing we can do apart from copy, copy, paste. And we will get that building ready for the next episode. Um, as always, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave this episode here. And we'll come back and we'll continue with getting these guys built. How long do they take? 10 seconds. That's not too bad. Um, except we're going to chew through a lot of speed modules and a lot of efficiency modules because we don't produce them very fast. Um, and we need a hundred of these guys. So that means uh, a hundred speed and efficiency modules are going to get burnt up. But yeah, we'll, 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 we'll cover the rest of this in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you're enjoying the series. Um, here goes to SpaceX. And I just realized my space science belt doesn't cover the new lab. So I need to go fix that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.